So next, uh, I'll try to cover advantages and disadvantages of having an LPG system installed in your vehicle. All right. I think I'll start with the biggest advantage that is uh, fuel savings. All right. Uh, we've seen a scenario where Amatatu has installed this system in their uh, in their vehicle. Amatatus use around uh, 10,000 bob every day on fuel. Now, this particular Matatu, uh, once they installed the LPG system, they were able to save about 33, 30, 33% in, uh, in fuel cost. Well, that means they could save 3,000 shillings every day, which is, if they're running every day, that is about 90,000 mob. When you're running a business and you're able to cut costs by 30%, at times you do not need any other any other reason to, to 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 do that particular thing that is saving you uh, money all right so savings number two uh because lpg has less carbon deposits uh you, you if you want you can you can uh, wait longer between regular service so for instance if you are servicing your vehicle uh after every five thousand kilometers on uh, normal lubricants, not those synthetic ones that promise 10,000 kilometers. Now you can actually comfortably go for 7,500 kilometers, right? That is also may translate to savings, All right? So those are the two major savings. And of course, if you are, if you are a person who is conscious with emissions, uh, you're going to pollute the earth less. So those are the two strongest advantages. Right. So disadvantages. Uh, there's always a disadvantage to almost anything, I think. Eh? So the first disadvantage is that uh, some buildings may not allow you to park in their basement parkings. I have not figured out uh, which more uh, which buildings these are, but so far I have not had any trouble. As long as I explain what I have underneath the the vehicle, what it is, and present the uh, necessary documentation they do not have a problem but uh, like in some countries like uh, in europe the euro tunnel which is a 50 kilometer long uh, railway tunnel that also vehicles use lpg vehicles are not allowed that tunnel so uh, i don't know what will happen if we have tunnels i don't know whether they're going to put the same restrictions uh we'll see all right however these are all laws that are coming to pass for instance in south korea until uh, recently, I believe uh, 2018, only taxi drivers, uh, taxi vehicles, hire vehicles and vehicles for the disabled were allowed to have these conversions, the LPG conversions. But now that ban has since been lifted and anyone now in South Korea can install an LPG fuel system in their vehicle. Right. So yeah, these, these are laws that are, will slowly be updated as, as uh, things change, hopefully. Yeah. All right. So then the other disadvantage is uh, the same thing, legislations. Uh, legislations can really hurt uh, anything, I believe. For instance, uh, when we heard that uh, tint was illegal, how many people went ahead to just remove the tint? So many. And then later it was found out that it was it is for private cars, you're not affected. You know, there was a whole uh, confusion there. So this might happen. I'm not saying it will happen, but it's a possibility of happening. And, you know, with legislations, uh, you cannot do much about it. You can only hope that uh, legislations favor you, right? So those are the two main uh, disadvantages. Uh, oh, yeah, then maybe another disadvantage is that uh, you may want to be careful taking your LPG converted vehicle to your normal mechanics, right? mechanics what i've learned is that they will always know how to fix something even if they don't know and that is usually a problem right so make sure you're only taking a vehicle to uh, qualified uh, uh, lpg service stations as in that that should be logic right yeah so that's it for the disadvantages i think